Welcome back to Let's Play NG. Now that we've got Ami back, what now? Hmm. Time for a final showdown. Just a boring day, you know, in, in paradise, I guess. Time to rearrange the liquor bottles by hexadecimal. What? Who is it? It's Amanome. <laughs> House arrest, aka dad. Again, he's grounded. Let's call it what it is. <laughs> I just love that they use the, you know, the highest forms. Like, he's under house arrest for one month. No TV, no video games, <laughs> no but, comic books. But, Dad, why do you keep calling it house arrest? That's final! So even though we got Ame back, she's, uh... Really sleepy. I mean, I would be too if I spent almost a month in the realm of the dead. You know, I'd, I'd want to sleep like the dead too. But she's okay, see? Hey, uh, how's, it, how's it going, kiddo? You feeling alright? I'm doing a. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, uh. Mm. Yeah, what's up? Oh, hey, hey it's all right, it's all right. Probably just now kicked in where she is. Hey, hey, you all right, kiddo? Hey, we got. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. You, you, you want to watch SpongeBob? <laughs> you wanna, you, you wanna have a juice box or something? Ooh. Well, now we get to the price of the game. I like. Are you... are you alright now? Have you calmed down? Alright, good. Yeah, what what happened? And, uh, if you could, tell me what that NG stands for, please. I know it might be hard to talk about, but I need a detailed account of what happened. Do not skip any grisly detail. Okay. What happened when you disappeared? When so, what happened when you disappeared? I disappeared. Oh. oh Alright. Then poof, you were gone. Yeah. Sounds like Kakuya just went, ooh. Hey, there's somebody, and just yoink. But- well, well, how could we? There was a truck that was- Whatever. But didn't we, though? I could've sworn we left flowers at the- at the gravesite, at the very least. Yeah, I think it was after Ami got abducted already. Ow. Oh, you, you know Kakuya, she's a petty bitch! I know. I just hate sore losers. Good. Well, of course, you got a big old head of hair on there! <laughs> that was uh, such a dad joke, and don't you deny it. I, I will not deny it. I'm like, <laughs> I tell the most dad jokes for not being a father. <laughs> you know, stockpiling, just in case. Just in case you're in a situation where you save a kid sister from the realm of the dead. More like realm of the dad. Oh! <laughs> hey! Oh, <laughs> oh, it's a time to let's play Dream Daddy. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, Kaku is a fangirl. 
She, she likes us. I mean, well, hey, we are two successful YouTubers. Of course she'd want to get our autograph. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I don't know why I coughed there. <coughs> oh, for some reason, my arm hurts. I don't know why. Hey, there we go. New game. Anything about NG? No. Oh. Well, no good. Needy grandma. <gasps> oh, it could... It oh. could... Oh, Sukuyomi! The demon Sukuyomi? What the hell is that? Ooh. Is it the demon part or the Tsukuyomi part? What does Tsukuyomi translate to? Or is it just the name? It's, um... The name of the god of the moon. Oh. It's, uh... Well, well it's it, it's kind of like that. It's based on Tsukuyomi, mm -hmm. which is the god of the moon, so... Are we gonna have to destroy the moon? Nah, nothing like that. Okay. Uh, you're not gonna like to hear this, but let's just say in Kakuya's game, it was one step back and one step forward, so I basically got nowhere. Yeah. So, yeah, Kakuya got your mom, Ami. Uh, she already knows. She probably told you, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I killed your mom! <laughs> You know, I was about to make a voice for Kaki almost exactly like that. Same wa <laughs> same wavelength here. <laughs> hey, Ami, can you tell me something? Was it really cold in the Realm of the Dead? Because we're dealing with one frigid Amanome. bitch. Hey! Hey, it's Amanome! What are you doing here? You should be on house arrest. Dad said I could go to the store, but he said no detours. Ha! <laughs> Little does he know, I don't play by the rules. Has an ankle bracelet. <laughs> it can detect beep, beep, detours. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh no. god damn it! <laughs> I'm not the one who's grounded. <laughs> I would love it if you could hold that over his head. It's like, yeah, very funny, grounded boy. And he's like, shut up. Want to play some baseball? I can throw some. I can throw some mean grounders. Yeah, broke out. You snuck out. Mm -hmm. Little does Dad know, my window actually opens. I had to come see you and double. We're meant to be together. He probably doesn't know about Aunt Natsumi, does he? No, he knows. I just think we it'd be funny if he was, like, out of the loop and then came here. He's like, so, where's your aunt? What? So you're saying she's in the hospital without a shirt? I'll be right back. A uh, bunch of mouths on her body. Oh, uh, jeez. Interesting. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet to eat? Uh, no. Yeah, you should have seen it, Seiji. She died twice because she didn't fucking listen to me. It's one thing to die once, but to die twice in the same way, at the same time, at the same place, it's pretty embarrassing. I think the worst part is we even told her the second time not to do what she did, and she done did it anyway. Maybe it's not a time warp, and she's just an undead, and she respawned at the bonfire. Oh, maybe. Need to use some souls. Well, let's take a look at Natsumi's bookshelf. Now, what do you see? 
Ooh, let's get into some myth. Hmm. Nagoshi no Gi. NG. Well, this sounds like a lead. Oh yeah, that guy. The pound of meat. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. No. No. Title Nagashinogi. Hmm. Ooh, intrigue. So maybe the reason why Moroku did what he did is in this Nagoshinogi. I don't want to know why he's doing it, especially in a book titled The Realm of the Dead. But it's a lead! I know it's a lead! It's still Nagoshinogi terrible. is a short story featuring a certain man as the protagonist. Oh. So this is a fan fiction. For generations, the man's family performed a rite called the Nagoshinogi. The rite was meant to seal a doll-shaped spirit by the name of Kaguya. Kaguya played with humans using various games and stole their lives and consciousness. But the man's ancestor, who was a spirit medium, caught Kaguya and sealed her in a certain place. He sealed her inside a mirror in a world known as the Realm of the Dead. The Nagashinoki is a ceremonial rite used to keep Kaguya sealed inside the mirror. This when a special doll filled with the spiritual power is given to Kaguya as a playmate, Kaguya becomes satisfied for about 10 years until the doll loses its power. No. Every 10 years, the doll must be recharged with energy and offered back to Kaguya. That was the duty given to the man's family who descended from that spirit medium. After his father's death, the man was also going to inherit that rite, as was his family's custom. As long as the rite continued peacefully, Kaguya would never appear in the real world again. Or at least, that's how it should have been. But the man lost his spiritual powers in an accident before he had any successors. And because of that, the Nagashi no Gi was unable to be performed. If Kaguya's seal was released, there would be many victims. The man was bound by his duty and devised an alternate method. He took drastic steps to find something to replace his lost powers. The Nagashi no Gi he devised was to take living girls, make them into dolls, and offer them to Kaguya in the realm of the dead. The pain, regrets, and grudges held by the girls would be a substitute for his spiritual powers. Oh my god! Just as the man hoped, Kaguya was delighted and remained in the mirror. The man had turned the Nagashi no Gi into a blood-soaked ritual. Nevertheless, the man continued to fulfill his duty, for that was the fate of all those born into that household. Oh. So! It wasn't crazy! He was fighting Kakuya as well! Or Kaguya. Which one's right? It's called Kaguya, but because Kaguya is such a childlike uh, spirit, she can't say it correctly, so Kakuya. Oh, uh, okay. I'm the Kakuya. We're gonna play together. We're gonna play my game. Why all this up here? Ugh. No. Yeah, Miroku died in probably one of the more gruesome ways. So now nobody's around to keep Kakuya sealed away, so she's roaming free right now, and, um,. Uh, that ain't good! 
You know, I thought when they mentioned, you know, give a doll to Kakuya and she'd be appeased for ten years, I thought they were talking about Mary. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I mean, I'll bet Mary could have worked, but she, she had a whole other ritual uh, right to her. It's the ritual in double. It, it, yeah, C come on, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> NG <laughs> means Nagoshi no Gi. You've been That's... able to kill all the or You're purify all these different spirits, and you can't figure out Nagoshi no Gi means NG. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're under arrest! Oh, yeah. You're that delinquent uh, Amanome, aren't you? Yeah. Aren't you that police officer that died twice? Ooh, sick burn. <laughs> yeah, well, you work for me right now. <laughs> that face. It works in so many different contexts. Mr. Threats. Mr. Actually, it's Threats? Mr. Threats Esquire. I'm very rich. Uh, yeah, sure. Can you pour him a double on the rocks? Go ahead, Ami, please. Uh, uh sure. How the hell? Shakes up a perfect martini. <laughs> I was just thinking, Kaki had taught her a few things while over in the realm of the dead. <laughs> T by the way, big brother, I made my own moonshine. D yeah, it was in the spirit realm version of your own bathtub. I d no wonder I, I uh, felt drunk whenever I took a bath. Check on me into a hospital? Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, silently write her out of the rest of this story, just so we can deal with the living doll. Yeah, because, again, Hazuki and Aunt Natsumi are still in a coma, which means Kakuya's still kinda out there and still playing the game, so we gotta make sure that she's out of harm's way, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And that, 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 that a girl. Uh, there you go, sport. Yeah. And thankfully, hospitals just throw away postcards. They don't actually give them to their patients. Yeah, I told her, and then she told me that Kakia told her that... God, I hate telephone. All three of us moving in like a walking tank around Ami just to make sure she doesn't get snatched again. <laughs> you hear any flutes? You have any mouths? No? Alright. No? That's good. Okay, okay. alright. Ah. Oh. <laughs> no mirrors, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> but what if one of the nurses has a compact? Ah! Don't worry, we only have male nurses. Oh, okay. Highly masculine ones who don't care about their physical appearance. <laughs> I can just see a guy just like jacked coming in to check up on her. No, we're gonna take your blood pressure. <laughs> You're squeezing too hard. I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, I'm not, not used to patients like you. Still got the report on the department store fire that she's still looking into. Mm -hmm. It's time to tie everything together if what you told me is accurate. Yes. Speaking of which, is this the episode that we get a lot of info? Y yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, earlier. When we had to choose between Amanomi and Hazuki, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I chose Amanomi for a few reasons. This is the big reason as to why I chose Amanome. We get a special scene with him. Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah, she had to go do cop stuff. I don't care that you don't care. Well, this is kind of a nice reward for keeping basically everyone alive. <laughs> oh, God. Dear. <sighs> yeah, you're going to you're going to calcify that soft spot. Daddy's little boy. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. Will this result in a CG? Ooh. Well... Eh. <laughs> what do you mean, uh... I mean, eh. 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 So here's a scenario for you. Mm-hmm. Does this special scene uh, translate over to um, your other two pals from Chapter 3 if Hazuki and Amanome are dead? Nah. Oh, okay. So it's just for your first party members. This is... I don't even think Hazuki has a scene like this. Oh, really? This is exclusive. Oh. Exclusive to Amanome's good ending. Because at this point... You're practically locked into the good ending. Yes! Let's do some Yakuza shit. This looks awesome! Holy shit, this looks awesome! <laughs> Dirt, he's got a whole quarry. I looked into your life, and I used a rototiller to find everything I could get. So Abanom is doing his usual Prince of Threats bullshit. And we're here just to be, you know, the hype man, the backup, the wingman. To look menacing without our beard and glasses. We're there to pretty much go like this. If he starts getting funny ideas. Do that, like, slicing hand motion across the neck, just in case. You know, you, know, you know, crack the knuckles, you know. <clears throat> Holy shit. Seiji, please. Oh. It, yeah? Yes, sir. <laughs> Trying to be tough. Yes! <clears throat> <laughs> nice voice crack and double. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? Don't want to make it mad, but... Gotta be cool. Gotta be stoic. Gotta be the kind of, I don't want to fuck with this guy. You know, talk with Seiji. He's the one who's, uh, you know, be being good cop. I gotta be bad cop, but not too bad. Uh, what do I think of this guy? Well, um... This is what he deserves. It's what he deserves. Yeah. I don't care, it's too aloof, cut him some slag would be... Nah, not good. See, he's trying to be all aloof that, you know, Oh, I don't care about my dad. He's got a sauce pop. Yeah, he's trying mm -hmm. to get some good company uh, dirt 
for his dad to appease him. That's, I see what's happening is here, I'm on Nome. I can read between the lines. You're terrified of your dad, you want to do him right. It's either that or he just wants like one week taken off his groundation. Yeah. Dad, if I get your company secrets, can I have my, like, can I have my car keys back? Can I have my Walkman back at least? <laughs> I gotta listen to the latest 8-tracks! That's way too late, dude. I know. 8-track? <laughs> that's like the 70s, dude. I don't know, maybe I'm a nobody likes the old stuff. Oh! Threaten him! Sure. Nah, no, no, no. Sage, he's got this. He's got this. See, threaten him, play the good cop. See, Amanoma's doing both those things right now. So, we'll just... I'm just gonna keep eating this uh, apple menacingly. <laughs> You're gonna die, man. This is delicious, he says with a mouthful of apple. God, I love those expressions on our faces. Look at that. Sure you can, it's easy. Who would you rather betray? The company or me? A company could fire me. He'll shoot me in the throat. I'd rather just look at the classifieds if you don't mind. It's business. That line, <laughs> said right, is amazing. You're fucked, man! Now betray your company before it gets worse for you! Take care of my light work, N double. Uh, uh, uh. Kick the couch in silence! Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> and you even say it with the effort. N double, that's priceless leather! I don't know what you're trying to look for me. What do we do? I'm just trying to be, trying to be intimidating. What, what, what the fuck is bring me in here anyway? I'm trying to be cool as you, dude. Hey, cool. He didn't say anything about the negatives. <laughs> See, Bartering. Sage is a how... pretty reasonable guy. Yeah, yeah. I like that he says, I made a deal, I'm gonna follow through with it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for kicking my couch. By the way, you're paying for that. What? You've got the money. Don't worry about it. It's it's too bad that Wanda Rabbits is just tanking in the charts right now. And that's sad, because for the last, like, what, three weeks we've been recording this, I've been humming this song <laughs> off and on throughout my day. <laughs> it is catchy, man. <laughs> and the next CG we get is Amanome in an idol uniform holding a microphone and just oh, dancing no. along with it. Yes, time nope, to ruin nope. your favorite Shut game. Shut that down. Shut yep. that down. Yep. Hey, all of you lovely artists out there, get on it. You can't ruin my favorite game because Okami will never turn idol. <laughs> Which I'm actually very surprised about, but then again, it's ancient Japan. It would be sacrilegious. Mm hmm. Be like if they had Jesus be in a Broadway music. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oops.
But that's what I do. I always scowl. It's my middle name. N double scowl U A. Say that as one word. N double scowl U A. That sounds pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I've been up to like 4 a.m. the past two weeks! I guess you've had it rough recently. Dude, are you trying to compare what I've been going through to your grounding? Oh yeah, is it summer break? I mean, I barely go to school. That's right, we can't officially call this anime until they go to school. Entry exams. I'm gonna be studying for the UFC entry exam, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be studying for my ghost-busting exam at this rate. MMA stands for mashing motherfuckers all up De day yeah there's some random hotel in uh, Hokkaido Aw, oh, come on, man. Slumber party just like we used to, bro! Yeah, he hates my apartment because it's so tiny. <laughs> hey, you work with what you got, okay? Yeah, it's a small apartment, but hey, I can afford sushi every night. Maybe that's the only reason we can afford sushi every night is because the place is so cheap. Maybe I shouldn't stay at home. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She can still probably fuck with you. Yeah, but but she won't like kill us in our sleep. That's a good point. for once. You shouldn't have said that. N double, that's like a death flag and a half. Well, let's go to bed. Are we gonna get it haunted by any spirits or spooky ghosts tonight? Huh? And out like a light. All good. All right. The next day! We've almost gone through an entire month. We have. So much has happened. So... This is our diagnosis. She's healthy, but there's some irregularities in her brain waves. It turns out, Mr. N-Double, that she has been, um, haunted. So we're keeping Ami for one more night. You know, irregular brain waves, that's not uh, uncommon for uh, someone who's spent a lot of time in the other world. Mm -hmm. You look at Persona 4, Stranger Things, you know, that happens, it happens. Yes. By the way, is this the first time we've been to Kisoji Station in the day? No, I don't think so. It's not common, that's for sure. 
The sun is coming. Flee! Flee! <laughs> Ooh. Cause oh. the fire. Hey, all right. Hey, was it a ghost? Yeah, you better be sorry. Hey, Yo. Bob, what are you doing here? Give me the deets, old man. Hey, hey we're Rose, here hey. Too. what's up? When is it appropriate to call people by their first name? When they expressly say you can do so, or when you've known each other for, like, a good long while. Oh, okay. But you gotta be, like, really, really close for that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Like, Seiji calls us N-double, Hazuki calls us UA. You know, that kind of thing. That makes sense. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome back and goodbye again. <laughs> So it's basically to get everyone to everyone who's still alive together and uh, sending them on their way. Bye. See you in Spirit Hunter 3, maybe. And they're not going to do the thing where they, like, you know, Oh, the, the, the cocker, you attack the bullet train and she's dead, or, you know, n nothing like that. This is mainly a progress check. Basically. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Aminome. Take a look at this. Oh, no! So, fire report. Ooh, Let's okay. read about this fire. Yep, it was caused by a fire. So our next case is going to have to revolve around the Momoi department store because Killer Peach is somehow related to it. Mm. So do we even have another ghost story to go through, or is this just... Let's let's investigate this department store fire. Uh, so far, we're just investigating the department store fire. Because Killer Peach was behind it, and again, everything's all connected. Uh-oh. The music toned down. Oh, well. It just had to repeat the song. <laughs> Aha! Oh. So, Momoi department store burned down, the Sumie group bought the property, and built Moon Tower right on top. Maybe to cover something up. Yep, that sounds like a grudge. Fifth floor, toy department. Oh yeah, all those Furbies, all those Tickle Me Elmos, they just, yeah, it's a huge war, and they just short-circuited short and blew everything up. <laughs> 20 people dead just before Christmas toy department this, this ain't gonna be pretty or two of them are parents no Ooh, the true cause. Oh, Molotov cocktails. The thrown true by cause. Thrown by the group. Uh, Arson. Sabotage. That is a good question. I 
All right, great. So the one guy who might know something about the fire is long dead. And all of this just for real estate. So Okayama lost her husband and son in the fire at the department store. So then she went to go ask Nobor Ishimaru about this fire because she's a dive woman, a high-ranking politician, so she could uh, get those connections. They didn't like her sniffing around, so they had her killed because she was asking too many questions. And because of her rage and her anger and her revenge, she became Killer Peach to kill off the Sumi group. But the Sumi group's already dead. So now we gotta figure out who started the fire. Well, we didn't start the fire. No, we didn't. It was always burning, since the world's been turning. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. One of the victims was a ten-year-old that looked like a doll and surprisingly named Kaguya. They oh, were no! chained together. What? Yep. They were what? chained oh, together. Wow! Okay. So this isn't like any other typical arson. That's a planned murder. This is one messed up season of Criminal Minds, tell you what. Oh, fuck! Alright, no there we go. No way! The Demon Sukuyomi game. It's all coming together. Uh oh. Kakuya mentioned the demon suit. Ha! What? Are you kidding? What? Uh oh. No! No! What? Uh oh! It's time! Ah! It's time for a tale! Demon Sukiyomi, Demon Sukiyomi, please come here. Oh, we have to exercise the fucking demon, dude! That's really concerning because Kakia didn't approach us this time. She just happened to mention Demon Sukiyomi in passing, and Ami happened to tell us. I don't think Kakia's gonna help us anymore. Nope. We need to figure this out on our own. She's just gonna sick fucking dudes on us, and we're gonna have to deal with it. Our... Man. And what's worse, we gotta deal with it tonight, otherwise, we're gonna die! Just because I saved Ami doesn't mean that I defeated Kakuya. Wow, so we're actually we're gonna take out a demon. We're gonna take out a demon. Sweet. Jeez, calm down. Oh, yes! Story time! Story time! Rumors of the demon Tsukuyomi. Tsukuyomi Oni. Oh. Demon Tsukuyomi. The demon Tsukuyomi game was real popular with middle schoolers at the time. If you performed a certain ritual, supposedly a ghost called the demon Tsukuyomi would appear. And grant any wish. Uh-oh. No one really knows what the demon Tsukuyomi itself is supposed to be. Some say its name is taken from the Japanese god of the moon, Tsukuyomi. Apparently because it only shows up on nights where there's a moon. Hmm. So I'm guessing new moons are out. The concept is kind of similar to the Kokuri game or, an, or a Ouija board. The demon Tsukuyomi game ritual has to be done on a night where there's a moon. To summon him, you need... Chains, something to burn, and two hand mirrors. First, you place the chain down like you're surrounding yourself. The area sectioned off by the chain is supposed to be like the altar for the ritual. Next, you take your offering and burn it in the altar. You can burn anything you want, but... 
Its value has got to be pro proportional to the size of your wish. Jesus. If your wish isn't granted, then it means the thing you burned wasn't valuable enough. Sacrifice, equal exchange, and all that. Once you light the thing on fire, you gotta recite a spell to summon the demon Tsukiyomi before it burns up. Please grant my wish. Once you finish the spell, there's one last thing. You gotta use the two hand mirrors and join them together. Ah. Then the demon Tsukiyomi will appear. Create a spirit road. The demon can come through from the realm of the dead, so... Alright. Things are linking together now, I see. I have questions. What questions do you have? The burning has to be sizable to the size of the wish. Yeah. 20 people getting burned alive in a department store, that's a pretty big wish to be granted, <sighs> if the must ritual be. was done correctly. Must be a big wish. I wish to create a, m a, a moon. It's all connected. Oh my god. So we gotta go to Moon Tower. Moon Tower. Tsukuyomi. Hmm. It's all mm. a theme! Alright, we're going back. This is crazy. This is madness. It's plain lunacy. Well, isn't lunatic just a way of saying moon stupid? Not me, I'm sun smart. A solar tick, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So we gotta go to Moon Tower, go in that special creepy elevator, because that takes us to the department store. Oh, I'm glad it didn't go away after we exercised Killer Peach. Uh -huh, just some minor mm. biz. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go check out Okayama's house. See if we can get some more leads on uh, Killer Peach and all that. Shed some more light on the subject. So, you bribe them. <laughs> oh, oh, the cops can bribe us, but we can't bribe cops? Wow. Bullshit. Alright, I like it. Now that I know it's all coming together and all the themes make sense... And we're about to die, so uh, make it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not in the mood to eat right now. I am dying. Actually, I would love it if this was an alternate game over. You go and get food, and then you just drop dead in the diner. Up. Oh. <laughs> no, you get puffer fish, and then. <laughs> hey, yes, I'll take your finest fugu. What do you mean you didn't prepare it perfectly? So now we get the spirit file, a mobile department store, fire ten years ago, not an accident, type of chains, ritual, new two mirrors, which grounded based on value of object burned. Oh, time to burn Ami so I can wish Kakuya away. Ha! Wait, huh? Wait, that, do that doesn't sound like equivalent exchange, actually. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, look, another bribe. Is it a bribe or a threat? Oh. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. A little bit of both. So, wait a minute. <laughs> she told Bond to bribe the security guard. Now she's yelling at the security guard for getting bribed. <laughs> what a bitch. Well, what, this, a, this, what a nonsense this entire, crooked cop. This entire game has been a bunch of lose-lose situations, so I'm not surprised. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> yep, off we go. I guess if you just strong arm people enough, you can get into any building. We're back. So she's on the roof. Oh, good. We finally do get to go to the roof. Yep. But we're going to save that for next time on NG. Next time, we're going to be doing the entirety of the Demon Tsukiyomi investigation. Oh, wow. Stay tuned. Stick around. Please. Don't die. Oh, don't die, gotta... Oh, come on. <laughs>